Hello, we are going to paint this tree today and you may be painting on canvas. I am painting on paper because my canvas is lost in the mail somewhere. So the first thing we're gonna do, let's open up some green. I'm gonna squirt some green in my palette. And maybe some of this other green. those next to each other and then I'm gonna put my red yellow and blue over here this way if I want to mix I can do that all right So let's make sure you have a paper towel to start with. That will be good. And I think, hmm, I'm gonna start with this brush. And I'm gonna go right in and start painting my tree. So I think my tree is gonna be this dark green color. And you can start with the ornaments if you want to, and your tree doesn't have to be green. It's all up to you. I'm going to paint around where this ornament goes. We'll come back in and paint that in a little bit. I hope that you were looking forward to doing this as much as me today. I've been waiting all week. There we go. All right. So then I'm going to paint this next section. I'm skipping a section so it can dry. We might have some little lines. <clears throat> and if you want to use a different brush, that's fine too. This is just the one that I decided to use. I'm just adding my nice green. Closing it all in and then painting there in the middle. And then I'll come back and paint that ornament later. adding to make it a little bit more all right so now get that paint out and I'm gonna go into this green and maybe add some little swoops at the bottom I 
kind of messed up that edge, so. I'm just coming in with this lighter green and adding a little bit of dimension to my tree. All right, so now I'm gonna go in and I'll add the dark green to the other sections. You can kind of swoop right along that top line. And I'm just going to fill this section in like I did the other one. And then I'll come back with that lighter green and I will add some shape. I'm going to get that dark green out of my brush and I'm going into that lighter green and I'm going to add some of this little outside shape, some shape along the bottom. And then I'll kind of give it some, some little angles to make it look like a tree. All right, so I just got my one last section left. <clears throat> and I'm going to go right in with this dark green. And just do the same thing that I did on the others. around where my ornament will be. Same over here. I'm gonna go around where that ornament will be. And I think if I don't keep that ornament shape perfectly round, I think it's gonna be all right. So I can just go over it later with more paint. My one little edge and my other little edge. So I'm almost done with this dark green. And I'm going to come back in with my light green. 
<clears throat> excuse me, like I did on all the other parts. I'm just gonna, let's see, I'm gonna get this dark green out of my brush over here. And I'm gonna go into that light green and I'm just gonna add some contour. And I will add some little swoops down here. Swoops. And then also maybe up here. And then I'll just add some strokes to make it look more like a tree. All right, so there's the background of my tree. And before I go dip into my water, I'm gonna get all the paint out of my brush onto this paper towel. That'll help keep my water a little bit cleaner. We won't have so much paint in there in the water. All right, and you wanna make sure you get all that paint out because you don't wanna to go to use a brush again and then have it be all dirty. Okay, so now let's see, what should I paint next? I think I'm gonna mix some brown for the stem of this tree. So let's see, for the stem, hmm, I think I'm gonna use the same brush. So to get brown, I'm gonna mix red and green. See if this gives us brown. Not quite brown yet. Let's get some more green. All right, now we're getting there. Maybe we still need a little more green. Okay. That's brown. All right. I can use this for my tree trunk. And you can use a different brush if you'd prefer. That's gonna be my tree trunk. Get that out of my brush before I go in the water. And then next, I think I'm gonna paint my star. But I'm gonna use this brush and my star is gonna be yellow. Scoot this over so my arm can go here. I'm gonna go into my star and add some yellow. And I'm gonna paint from the point in, and that's how I'm gonna keep that point kind of sharp. So from the point in, and I am not gonna touch this tree. I'm just gonna go right along that edge. right up along that edge. I'm trying not to touch that green because I don't want to bring any of that green into the star. Let's see if we can get just a little bit pokier. Here we go. We did it. All right. Now I'm gonna mix uh, some purple. So I'm gonna take some blue. 
and some red. See if I can mix a purple up that looks like a purple that I want to use. So that can be purple, blue and red for purple. And then of course, some red and some yellow mixed together it can make some orange. We need a lot more yellow, don't we? Add more yellow. That was way too much red. a lot more. Okay. There, now we're getting a little orangier. So you can mix red and yellow together if you want some orange. And I think I'm going to take a clump of that and even add more yellow to it. if we can get a nice orange. This is just, the other one was a little dark. There's our orange. All right. So that's how you can get those colors if you want them. All right. I think my ornaments, what color will they be? Hmm, I need a different brush. I'm going to use the brush that's a little bit, I don't know if this is a little bit fatter or if it's the same size. All right, so I'm going right in at the top with red. So I'm going to, ah, get paint all over me. So you can flip it over and use the other side. Wipe the paint off your arm. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to go right in with my red. Paint this little Christmas bulb. Maybe one of these other ones will be red also. And I'm just making sure the paint around this one is nice and dry. Okay. And this one can be red. Also, and then I will get that paint out of my brush and rinse, and then I'll get some in blue. Let's do a blue one here. down in the middle here. Since we took the time to mix this orange, I'm going to use it. So there's an orange one. And I'll put another orange down here at the bottom. And then that last one, I think I'm going to make it yellow.
All right, so this one's gonna be yellow. Ah, that's wet, okay. Try and paint it in. Something is going on with my green. I think there was too much water in my brush. All right. So now you can do whatever you want. You can add little extra things if you want to. I think I'm going to add some little dots. I'm gonna go I'm gonna add these are like gonna be like little Maybe little light strings. But most of them are going to be yellow because yellow is the brightest color I have. And I want it to show off the most. So done with yellow. Let's move on. What should my next color be? Hmm. I think that's it. I think I'm not going to make light strings. I think I like them exactly the way they are. So I'm going to change to this giant brush. I'm going to make some, like a little grass on the ground, like a little hill that my tree is on. And you can just go to town. You can do whatever you want to do for this background. It can be however you want it. And you can do whatever you want for that sky. I'm going to add maybe a little bit of green, a little bit of that dark green, and come in here and put some little swoopies that are in that darker color. I messed up, so I had to cover it up a little bit there. All right, then I'm gonna really rinse this brush out. I'm gonna go into my blue and I think I'm just gonna make some fun little sky. I don't think that I really need to touch my tree because that might be a tough situation if I get sky on my tree. So I'm just going to come 
kind of close. Like my tree is very shiny and it's giving off its own little glow. So I'm just coming sort of close. I'm not touching. And I might come in with a smaller brush later and pull even closer to that tree. But for now, this is what I am comfortable with. And I'm lifting that brush as I get closer to the tree and the star. And just try to keep it under control. Ah, there's some yellow in there. Oh, ah, I keep getting that yellow in there. All right, it's not, I think it might be time to switch to a smaller brush. So I'm gonna go move to this brush, I think. And go back into that blue and I can come in a little closer with this one but when that tree's totally dry I can go in extra super close to it but it can dry while we paint so we can wait for it You can put all kinds of things in here. You could put some reindeer flying through the sky. You can do whatever you want. Just going to follow that and then I'll pull it out to the side. And I'm going to follow this little edge and then pull it out to the side so it matches the brush strokes of the other ones. And I'm going to pull down and then out. Try to get those little nooks and crannies. All right, so that those edges were dry enough. That worked out just fine. I'm just gonna pull out to the side. All right, this other side is gonna be much more challenging. So I'm going to go up here and I'm going to need to paint with my other hand. I'm going to go out over here and then out this way and down. At this point, I am painting left-handed, so um, here we go. It's not my dominant hand, but I'm gonna do my best. All right, and so let's get right along that edge, did it. And then we'll go and pull right down along this edge. Perfect. 
and pull out. And then we'll kind of do some strokes sideways to make all the strokes match. And then same thing here. Awesome. Pulling that paint out to the side. And then same thing here. We just want to follow that contour that we already have. a little yellow but that's okay I can just wipe that yellow right off and go back to my blue and fix that little tiny piece there and then we're just gonna pull it out to the side so now all we have left is this little underneath part which is kind of not very easy to do but uh, here we are it's the part that's left so it's what I'm gonna do need a littler brush to do this. Get this little bitty one. Ideally, I would wait until this yellow was dry to do this step, but I'm trying to make sure that you can do this in the time we have for our party. So we might pick up a little bit of that yellow, but we can just rinse it right out of our brush. And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm going to just come right up under this tree with my blue. And fill that right in. So there's my tree. Yay! All done. I'm gonna rinse out my brushes now. And then I will see it will dry it. You can kind of fan it dry if it's not dry. <laughs> 